Na Finn. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another kitchen gadget testing video, uh, part of the massive kitchen gadget testing playlist here on the channel. Today is a wish.com special. I've done a few of these and you guys seem to love it. You know, the website Wish where you can get gadgets. Some of these are actually free today. You just pay for delivery and postage and we kind of have a mixed bag of results. Sometimes they're phenomenal and do the task amazingly. Other times they're pretty naff or even dangerous. Um, I've got a nice little mixed bag selection today, um, but please consider before commenting down below that some of these gadgets and tools and the concepts can help people that struggle to do certain tasks in the kitchen. So without further ado, let's get going. All right, the first one today, uh, the description is preservative, okay? Um, well, in a way it is a preservative because this is an avocado holster holder. And I will be washing all the gadgets throughout the videos, by the way, I just don't want you to see me doing washing up. Although that might happen today, this feels, Wow, that feels really cheap and plat. That feels like a toy. Once you've got one avocado and you've eaten it, this thing apparently, you, you can strap it in and then it's, it's, it's not exposed. That's gonna be flush so it shouldn't darken. There's only one way to test this. With an avocado. Okay, so we're gonna leave this one just out like this. So hopefully with this, um, <laughs> this so feels so cheap. Hello? So you've literally got your compartment for the stone and it can go in like this. And then you go, right mate, belt up, we're going for a ride. I'm gonna try and get it quite tight. Look at that! <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, hello? But we'll maybe check on this at the end of the video. I'll put them side by side. Look how sort of green that is. There's no discolorization on it whatsoever. But perhaps after being out for roughly about an hour and a half, that might change. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but on recent videos, I've been having massive problems uh, with my microphone. So I've changed the settings today. I don't know if it will do anything, but there's been times where it's been like really quiet. And then all of a sudden, ah, like that. So. What I'm saying, I do like about the avocado holder is you can just sort of walk around like it's a mobile phone, a little bit like this gadget, hang on. This gadget, which is right here, <laughs> resting on my tripod, it literally came in a bag loose like this. I've just washed it. Um, I did review something like this on one of my, I think actually the first ever gadget video, um, I believe. I mean, these look like tongs as well, they double up as that. But basically your main thing is that you can grip something like that and then, oh my gosh, that feels so bendy. You can grip something and slice it. So let's try it um, with something nice and soft like a tomato. <laughs> Look at that. There we go, I've caught the tomato like this. And then the thing I don't like about this, if I let go, Look, it wants to fall out, that's not any good. So you've got to keep one hand on it at all times. So it does kind of double up as tongs. So you go, oh, I want my tomato and then you can and we find a line and then just go through like this. <laughs> I really think this gadget is for this. I hope it is. There was no instructions with it and I'm trying to find if it lines up. Can you see I'm making the incisions in there? Yeah? <laughs> it's like a, a casino. We've got some tomato chips. That has actually worked really well. It's messy, it's weak. I would only recommend it on something like a tomato. Ooh, we need an apple in a minute. Let's try an apple. I can actually core apples with my bare hands, look. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of practice. Uh, look, the Barry Lewis veggie peeler as well, amazing. Uh, we're just gonna peel the apple. All right, very nice indeed. Looks a little bit like a pear now and it's just nestled, it's grabbed it, lovely. <laughs> So here we go, straight down there. Oh, it's, it wants to move. <laughs> it's doing it, it's going, this is a very sharp knife. It's always going through the plastic. I wouldn't be surprised how cheap this is. <laughs> it slices it in half. But you know what? I think, yes, it's done it. That's amazing. That is, <laughs> I mean, they're pretty rough. It's pretty chunky, but this one was actually free. Um, I think I paid like about five pound delivery. I had to wait 30 days, but it ain't bad. <laughs> the description for this one is drill brush. Uh, so have a little think just before I open it up. What could that actually be? But the description is actually pretty accurate. Yes, it's accurate. All right, look, 
<laughs> you see this? It's a brush, right, with a drill bit on the end. Now this was supposed to come in a pack of three, right? And the most convenient one, which was probably about a third of this size, uh, is really all I wanted to use for this video. This is like a toilet brush. Right. <laughs> yes. What you do is you take your toilet brush. Imagine having to brush your teeth with this. <laughs> now, as you know at the moment, uh, with the kitchen nearly done there, we are in a very awkward situation where we have a sink there that isn't actually a sink. If I run the tap, no water will come out. A couple of videos ago, there was a big pipe running through here. Uh, that's all gone now and this wall's been plastered. So if I poured any wastewater down there, it would just literally leak through here. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, but what we are luckily in the position of, we have got the new sink here, which is plumbed in. And more importantly, last night we had some dinner. Look, <laughs> we've got some washing up to do. I recognize that from a previous gadget video? This thing, I think I said in that video, if you see it in other videos, it's amazing. We've still got it. It's going strong, we love it. Let's get back in the other pit. We shall use the bog brush. So this is legitimately proper dried on. That's gonna be hard to get off. Uh, so we're gonna give it a little soak. Very nice indeed. <laughs> All right, and now. <laughs> That is amazing, look how clean that is getting that. <laughs> oh gosh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, no, I've got it everywhere. Whoops. It's working fantastic. What? What are you doing? Nothing. Oh my gosh. This is the greatest tool ever, look at this. Look, this is life changing, look at that. Yeah. That's better than any dishwasher. I was going to say, I still wouldn't replace it for my dishwasher. Cooking channel. That is so good. Look at the wall. That's where the dirt's gone. <laughs> I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there's actually like loads of dirt, like bolognese stains on the wall. <laughs> so we've just been, it's been cleaning it, we've been flicking it off. Right, just to show you, remember these Brigadero things the other day? Look at that. Like sort of firm, they held their shape even at room temperature, but that real soft, gooey inside like that, and it kind of looks like horns. <laughs> if you've missed that recipe video, do check it out. These were phenomenal. Mm. Okay, so this gadget literally arrived. Well, it was sealed to get by uh, a little bit, but it was damaged and rough like this. There was just an envelope around it, which I seem to have mislaid. The good thing is I've got the drill, so I can give it a good clean. But it's basically a cheese grater wheel with loads of different attachments, which is brilliant. Or brilliant. But it just feels, <laughs> it feels like tin. It just feels like, you know, the utensils you get for like a kid's toy. Do you know what I mean? Just literally, the whole thing is supported by that really weak latch there. You can get some really, well, not super expensive, but just some higher quality versions of this. And I've put it in upside down. So left-handed me is gonna struggle. <laughs> Gotta put it around the other way, right. Oh my gosh, that's lethal. Great. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I can't do it left-handed because, can you see in there? It, I'll need to go back on myself, which it won't actually allow. I've got to go that way. So it is right-handed. All right, I'm not gonna shed a tear over it, um, but now, hopefully, yes. Anyhow, with that out of the way, I'm wondering if I can kind of do a hack where I use the uh, vessel-shaped thing you know, the bucket, push down. Ugh. Because otherwise I had a knife ready to cut a perfect look. <laughs> Here we go, let's grate some cheese. Yes! It's working, it's raining cheese, yes. That is, that's working really, really well. Oh my gosh. That's working so well, I'm like drenched in it. Let's get the, um, let's get the shavy one out. That's the technical term for it, the shavy one. Oh, look, that's working as well. <laughs> yes, it is cheap and nasty, but boy, it packs a punch. 
Now these two are very similar, so I think well, I think we've nailed this really. This is more of like your Parmesan sort of setting, but we'll give it some love, we'll give it a go. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. And it's, it should go that way, it should fall out like that. That is so good. I don't know about you, but I'm having a brilliant morning. This is going really good today. All of them so far, well, I don't know about the avocado one yet, do I? They're actually all right. We are gonna finish with a finale, a kind of flurry of pastry goodness with a load of the gadgets down there. On the last Wish video I did as well, for some reason it seems like Wish might be Latin for pie because we made a pie as well with these stampers for a crust. They actually worked fairly well. One or two were fantastic, but this should make something different altogether. Just to show you, I have got uh, these two things that come hand in hand. Uh, you do this to roll out pastry, and it's actually a cutter that gives you these sort of nice lattice kind of strips. And then this one is a little bit like those stampers I had before that you roll around because it's got a groove inside for the crust to kind of emboss that on there. On the last Wish video, you did see the only pie dish that we legitimately have. So I went out and bought this like diddy little cute one because I thought, oh, that might work. Hopefully it's got enough edge for that to roll around it. I just didn't feel like making a humongous pie today. <laughs> We're also gonna make a pastry with this thing, okay? Um, on the wish.com when I ordered this over 18 months ago, that link doesn't actually work anymore. I think they still exist, but they're more metal. Now, I don't know if you can see, the grooves are kind of, if I get the angle right, can you see? There's somewhere it kind of misses it, but then it's, it's there, misses it there. When you roll over pastry, apparently that'll make like a big sort of zigzag cross zig lattice thing again. Lattice, lattice, let us carry on. <laughs> this is fairly self-explanatory, it's kind of like a tongue. Uh, for your saucepan, you stick it on the end to help pouring things out easier. We're gonna be using oil, so I really hope this works. And last but not least, there's this thing that I've had for blooming ages. Look at that, hello everybody. It's, it's kind of like this multi 12 in one basket thing. I don't know what the 12 is. When people say 12 in one, it normally means it only does three or four things. Um, apparently you can use it as a basket for like putting fruit in. It's very flimsy. I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try that. Now? Yeah, apparently this is supposed to be like the legs. Look at that, this is so unstable. But I've had this one for so long and thinking to myself, what can I do with it? All right, let's just try. <laughs> no, it's not 12 in one anymore. But let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Is it the other way around? Does this give it some stability? And did I say stability with a H in it? Stability. Mishmoney penny. Right, I'm actually holding that leg to support it. Look. It's so now a fruit bowl. You see, if we get this nice like that, come on. No, but it is supposed to double up as a bit of a basket so you can go, oh, look, I'm carrying around my thing. It's, it's brilliant. So yeah, you might be carrying around your thing, but here's another thing that's supposed to be able to do with it. You can plop it in a pan like this and let it kind of, oh. <laughs> It can like, bo like you boil pasta, you can put pasta in there with water, let it boil, and once you're ready to take it out, you can go, well, hey, like that, and drain it off, and I think that would be good. Obviously, because it's made of metal, you can fry in it, so that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a pie and fry it in it. And then the other thing, apparently, what you can do is once it's cooked, you can unravel it like that, and then just dump it out. So it's about four in one, really, but that yeah, looks pretty good. It also doubles up as a hammock for fruit. <laughs> So hopefully all of these things will come together. We're gonna to put oil in there. We're not gonna fry the fruit, although that would be kind of amazing. Uh, we're just gonna fry a pastry in there, drain it out through the spout, but first we go back to those other things to make some shapes. <laughs> so let's just actually just quickly check uh, whilst this pan is not full of burning oil. Is that all right? Oh gosh. I'm just gonna have that as an ornament in the background for the time being. <laughs> So here is a sheet of short crust pastry. God, that was hard to say. I've sliced it in half. The other bit we'll use for a base, but we're gonna show you uh, this tool, okay? This should make it webby. And I've never used it before in my life. And it's sticking, <laughs> it's sticking to it. No, oh no. All right, let's go a little bit looser. Oh, that looks really pretty. Can you see those lines? But if I slice just along where we did that, it doesn't look like anything right now, but apparently, is it working? Ah, oh, no, I think I should have cut deeper. Oh no, it's sticking. Oh, there you go, look at that. It's very delicate, but you can get, you see? You see, it's working. This is gonna take me ages.
You're supposed to like pull it like this, so it all just comes apart, but <laughs> no! Oh, I think it, it works. Right, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I really, really, really want this to work. So I'm flowering it down, trying to get it super thin, because I think that's gonna be my best chance. I feel like Indiana Jones trying to get the balance right. Come on, let's do this, let's do it. Push down really hard. Oh, look. It's pulling it up again. No, 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 no. Ooh. If I push it back with a knife like that and hold it, really pushing down now. Ah. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> yes. Yes. Look, 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 look. It's working. It's delicate. It's really delicate, but look. try and fix it with my knife but spread it out but that has actually worked it's a little bit damaged in one corner there if you've got the patience with it really get it thin and flour it and once it tucks up at the back push it back down with a knife and keep going it does actually work but i feel like a sharper blade on it a metal blade would be much better and just for comparison the other roller thing is much easier it's just strips like this so it's got the grooved edges on it and you can basically just roll it along like that Da, 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 da. And you've then got nice little ribbons. Oh no, you got the rough end. It's in the wheel still. There you go. I was like, why has it done that? There we go. Nice little ribbons for your pie. So this wheel is really good. All right, so with the lattice thing and these strips, we can now make a fairly weird pie. So I've just put some tin peaches in this pie. And what I'm gonna do, I said tin peaks then, uh, Gonna just put a little bit of pie crust on like this, just to test this other gadget. Push it down and then go around. Oh, look at that. It's crimping the pie. It's actually crimping it. It's sealing it together by, uh... <laughs> That's actually worked really, really well. But I'm only gonna use a little bit of it because this pie is special. It's gonna have the little crisscross on it, isn't it? Okay, another one maybe just there. All right. <laughs> and it's gonna have the almost broken lattice finish on it, like that. There we go. Okay, <laughs> it's a three in one pie. All right, well I've just cut off the edges and we've got our crimped pie. We've got the lattice and the strips on the top like that. There we go, a little bit of an egg wash and some brown sugar, and that looks positively gourmet. Let's bake it. See you later. So whilst that is baking away, we have got the oil here. I've put the lip on it already because I just don't want to go near it as much as I can whilst it's warming up. We are going to fry. Uh, yeah, not, not too scared because with our basket, this can help. So this is some puff pastry as opposed to short, short crust. And we've got our apple slices from earlier. That actually, I might just rip that up and make it a little bit more level. You can see they've colored a little bit. I do want to try and leave a little bit of a gap so I can seal it in. You just did the song, didn't you? Some brown sugar in there as well. And the most important thing to make sure this is fully, I'm not gonna say it, join together. That's where that egg wash is going to help. Kind of making a McDonald's style apple pie here. We don't want that bursting. Apples going into the oil is not going to be a good thing. Nice. So the cool thing with this now is we can pick this up, place it inside the basket that we're going to fry it in, and just let it sit until the oil is warm enough for it to fry. Just as an aside, I've just found these pie crimpers, the ones I was talking about from the last Wish video. Uh, Mrs. Barry's kept them. Uh, I know that she likes it because that way we haven't given it away on Patreon or to a charity shop. So that's what tends to happen when we don't like them. But they were rather stonking. Okay, so this is puff pastry. Remember, I just put in a piece. Uh, it's gone golden and puffed up quickly. This could be dangerous. Lift it up like that. And we lower it in. Ooh. It's not going in. Oh no, I, uh, no, <laughs> I think the lip's stopping it, oh no, ah, that thing's stopping it, that thing was stopping it, there we go. Oh, I was a little worried that it could spill over, so I only half filled it with oil, so it's nice and snug in there, I just need to cut 
coat the top a little bit more. In fact, what I might do is actually use this to my benefit and gently lift it out like so, because I can see it's golden brown underneath, onto some kitchen towel. Oh, yes, back in the basket. And then down in there to fry the other side. Oh, looks like the world's weirdest sundial. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I think we've done it. This thing's actually coming really handy because obviously oil is pretty dangerous. Oh, yes. I've got to be honest, I feel pretty safe. I can sort of walk around and carry this now. There's my pie. <laughs> it wasn't filled to the brim, so it sunk a little bit there, but it has held its shape. That, that will do for me, that's a pie. I've made worse. And additionally, here's one of the other things you can do with this. Apparently you can just go, Ugh, like that. <laughs> oh, what a nice sound. Oh, yes. I just hope it's gonna be as hot as a McDonald's apple pie. All right, it's been 10 minutes and the apple pie is still really hot in true McDonald's style. So what I was gonna do was use the spout thing with the oil in the background to show reusing it, pouring it back into the oil bottle. Now what I've just spotted is that with this, I don't know if you can see that lip there is quite loose. So although I could wait for that oil to cool fully down, which I would wanna do anyway, if I try and pour it out, I could get oil all over my kitchen, which is gonna be extremely dangerous. So instead, I've got a new pan with some cold water and we'll try and get that back into the bottle. My other fear is that it's actually got a really wide spout on it as well. So we have to try and control it. Huh? And then, oh, look. Why, why did I carry on doing that? <laughs> that, oh my gosh, could have been oil all over my kitchen. I am so glad I did that instead. Well, that one didn't work. But is that apple pie? Yes, it's an apple pie. <laughs> what is wrong with that? It looks like a toasty of it. It's a toasty apple pie, yeah. Would you like, I'm gonna have a bite. Ready? Mm. That good? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, thanks, mate. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? that? That's a peach pie. Mm, peach. You wanna try a peach pie? <laughs> peach pie, ready? That good? Yeah. This was made from Wish Gadgets. Do you know what that means? No. Brilliant. <laughs> well, there we go, folks. Another bunch of Wish Gadgets added to the Kitchen Gadget testing playlist. I think my favourite one, which you didn't see. <laughs> it's a toilet cleaner. So really? when you go to the toilet in a minute. <laughs> all right? Okay. If you see any cool gadgets on Wish, or AliExpress, or anywhere around the internet, do tag me on them on social media and I'll add them to my growing box. I've got a hundred still to get through. Don't forget to have a barrel phone now. Check out the rest of the videos on the playlist. It goes on for hours. So grab the popcorn, subscribe for regular recipes and food fun, and um, go on then. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. All right then folks, four hours later, uh, I've been doing a bit of decorating in my, uh, in my decorating gear now. Uh, the avocado half that has not been shielded with the flip-flop is brown, you see that? Look at that. Now, I have no idea this is gonna work. Okay, seat belt's coming off. You guys can have a look first. Uh, a little bit, oh actually, that is actually a little bit better. Not amazing, but um, yeah. There you go. Maybe you can flip-flop the avocado.